Hi, my crafty friends. You guys, I've had so many questions about doing the um, non-mod podging with the cling wrap. So we're gonna test all the different things here. So the first thing up, we're going to use tissue paper. So I've got my wood surface. I'm gonna put down some of the cling wrap, take the tissue paper, put it over the top of it, and then put my parchment paper over the top. And again, we're gonna do different um, different things here. So first up, as you can see, we're just doing that same process and it works out great with tissue paper. I'm just using my sanding block and just cleaning up those edges and it works really, really good. I know some of you have told me you've tried this and it doesn't work. So make sure that you're using the cling wrap. Make sure you're using a dry iron on the cotton setting and um, I think you'll have a better result with it. Okay, so now we're doing a napkin. So I pulled off the ply off of the napkin. Same thing, wood surface, we're using the cling wrap. Then we're gonna lay the napkin minus all the plies over the top. And then we're going to put the parchment paper over it. And then we're just going to start ironing. Once we do that, we're gonna do the same process. We're just going to um, use the sanding block to clean up the edges. And then I'm trying some fabric from Dollar Tree. Now, fabric from Dollar Tree is super duper thin. So um, just be mindful of that when you're trying the fabric. Um, so same process here. We've got our little piece of wood. We're gonna put down our cling wrap. Then we're going to put down our piece of fabric and then our piece of parchment paper. Now this I actually ironed a little bit longer than I normally do. And you guys, the thing about this too is once you kind of cut off all the edges or sand them off or whatever, if you need to put the parchment paper back over the top and go over it again, you absolutely can do that because the heat just activates the parchment, or I'm sorry, the heat activates the cling wrap, there we go, um, and makes it like our glue. All right, so this, I'm just using my rotary cutter, rotary cutter, boy, man, words are hard today, um, and just going along there to clean up my edges. So then I was like, okay, let's take a piece of scrapbook paper. So this is a double-sided scrapbook paper, same process, the wood, the piece of cling wrap, our scrapbook paper, and then the parchment paper doing the exact same thing. And this turned out really awesome too. Um, I wasn't sure with the scrapbook paper, but I loved it. So just cleaned off those edges. Now I was like, okay, let's try some burlap. Let me see if I can get this to work with burlap. So same layering and um, just kind of kept ironing over it. I was going really slow, kind of letting it set. I didn't know because this is so thick, plus all the holes you know, in the burlap. And unfortunately, it was a fail. It didn't work, but that's okay. We tried it. All right, so here's how they all turned out. I love that we can do this without Mod Podge. Follow for more.